And hello everyone, Peter here once again with another little, 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 little drawing for you. Um, hope you're all doing well today. This is just another, you know, uh, just another regular self-portrait like always. Um, regrettably, there is a little chunk missing. You'll notice at one point just a crazy foot will just appear out of nowhere uh, in this drawing. But most of it's all there. You know, some, you know, all the footage, almost all the footage was recovered you know, from the archives, as it were. Um, but you get to see almost all the juicy little details. I will say, um, in this drawing, this drawing is a little bit different because uh, for the first time ever, um, I did use a pen called, a type of pen called Rotring rap Rapidographs. Rapid, rapid O-Graphs? Rotring? Anyways, that's what they're called. Now these are, um, I used pens similar to these before, except they're made by Kohenur. I don't know, none of these pens have, all, or all of these pens have words that are strange to me, which is okay. Strange words are cool. Um, anyways, but I've also heard that the Koenors are somehow inferior to the Rotrings. Anyways, I have the Rotrings now. They're expensive pens. Um, some people like them more. I don't know if I do. They're definitely different and interesting. Like they don't, you know, usually I use felt tipped pens. I'm not saying everyone should. You really should use as many different pens as you can, as many different types of pens, or as many different types of art supplies in general. You know, pens, brushes, uh, you know, your fingertips. Try a little finger painting. Um, so, you know, people are always like, what type of pens should I use? I want to get into drawing. What type of pens should I use? I'm like, don't ask me. Go try a thousand different types of art supplies. It sounds expensive, but just. Try as many as you can and settle into something based on your own experiences and your own preferences. I can't tell you what's good or what's the best, you know, because everyone has little different little things that they're trying to do. Anyways, so I don't know. I could go on about that forever. Anyways, what I'm saying is I drew like the first half of this drawing, maybe, maybe the first third of this drawing uh, with felt tipped pens like I always do. And then partway through, I... Well, partway through, which was the second day of the drawing, um, I got these Rotring Rapidographs in the mail and um, I opened those and put them together, assembled them with only mild, mild difficulty. It, it turns out you have to like, you know, like put the ink, ink cartridges in them and then snap the tips on them and you have to push a lot harder than I expected and I felt like I was breaking them, but I eventually got them all together, assembled and, uh, you know, they, they seem to work pretty good. I felt like they these seemed to put a lot more ink onto the paper, and I thought the ink for sure, it seemed like it was pouring out of the tips onto the paper, and I thought, oh no, this is certainly going to just seep right through the paper and destroy everything, and the world was in but the world wasn't ending, and everything turned out fine, and the ink wasn't seeping through the paper, and this, this notebook I'm drawing in here is a paper blanks notebook, that's what the brand is. It's not anything special. I mean, as far as the type of paper goes, I just like these because the outsides of the notebooks look cool. Uh, they have like nice, really ornate um, covers. So it makes it feel like you're drawing in something special. Um, but um, anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Anyways, so yeah, thankfully it didn't bleed through at all. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised with that. You can see, see it through a little bit, but it's still not quite as special and magical as that crescent render stuff, whatever I used to use or still do use sometimes in one or two of my other sketchbooks. I don't know. I've always got several sketchbooks going at the same time. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, these, these, um, I guess these are called, uh, I don't know what the, the technical name for these pen type of pens are like technical drafting pens or, uh, uh I don't know. Anyways, they, they don't have felt tips. They just have like a a totally metal um, ink release mechanism. There's like a metal nib, and then inside the metal nib, there's another like metal wire which gets pushed in when you touch it to the tip of the paper, and that releases ink. And some people think this is a lot better uh, because the the width of the line you draw is always perfectly uniform. You know, as you draw with a felt tipped pen, uh, over time it gets a little bit worn out or you know, it can get squished out, squished out, you know, and, you know, it's just not perfectly uniform all the time, which, you know, doesn't always bother me, or it never really did bother me that much, because, you know, I, I like things to be a little bit wild, I don't know, but, so, basically, felt-tip pens aren't 
they don't last forever. Obviously, people are always actually people are always talking about that. People are like, "Why do my, why do my pigma microns always, you know, they run out so fast or the tips are breaking?" Well, I guess that never really happens to these uh, these pens that I use for the second half of this drawing. Um, I guess well, you can re you can refill the pens with new cartridges or I don't know. The tips only break if you like drop them or they can get clogged. I suppose you have to do. They do have. There are slightly more high maintenance, but they technically last forever. I don't know. There's pros and cons to everything. Make your own decisions. Yeah, make your own decisions. There's no one universal answer to what pen is the best. Okay. 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 Okay, goodbye. That's all for today. Go draw, go draw something or make something. Make something that wasn't there before. Make, bring something new into the world. Okay, bye.